Hello guys, welcome to another video. So, I never actually, like, so... <laughs> I am bad at intros, I will just say you that much. But you've probably read the title. And so basically, a while back I was, I was walking, right? <laughs> and I came to the conclusion with someone that... Or me and someone came to the conclusion that the Pikmin species are problematic. Why, you ask? Well, basically, in the Pikmin series, you basically, you must collect objects, right? And among those objects, you can collect pellets, corpses of enemies, and all that, right? Bring it to the onion and propagate new more Pikmin. Very basic concept. That's basically what it is. You kill enemy, you carry the enemy's corpse back, you get more Pikmin. Done. That is problematic. That's the problematic thing. Because if a species is able to propagate that fast, that's a problem for the entire ecosystem. Now I know I can't say anything because I don't know nothing about what can fuck with the ecosystem, but think of it like this. If you have a species that's able to turn any biomatter, right, any matter, into itself, there lies the issue. And you're probably saying, like, if you know Pikmin, like, if you know, if you guys know Pikmin, you're probably going to be like, well, no, the Pikmin can't bring everything to the, and turn it into the, I mean, like, the fruits, and pi the, uh, the ship parts, treasures, and fruits, well, scrap, put that fruit on the table, because it's it's biomass. It's matter. It's it's organic. Now in the game you only see the Pikmin carrying back corpses. Well some of them, for example for example exam <laughs> for example the skitter leaf. That is a leaf. It is literally just a fucking leaf. And so let's assume that the Pikmin species can only take in organic matter. Well, here, like, like, they could probably, if enough of them, take out mass areas of plant life, animal life, and all that shit. And now, if you guys also know Pikmin, what about the 100, uh, 100 Pikmin Max? Well, in Pikmin 2, there are two areas where you can find wild Pikmin just chilling around. That is, the second area, fucking, I, I don't even know the level, but basically, one of them is the perplexing pool, where you find yellows. And the other area, the second area you go to, after getting the, um, that piece of the globe, <laughs> in the cavern where you find purple Pikmin, there is Pikmin just in those two areas. <laughs> Now say you get the yellows, because you'll get them first, and then you go to, or then you, you get the yellows, right, and you have 100 Pikmin there. That doesn't account for the Pikmin in the other level. So there's probably, like, it. it's probably proximity, you can probably, or let's just assume that it's just a fucking game mechanic, and the, I'm pretty sure the GameCube or Wii cannot handle a lot more Pikmin than that. It can handle more, obviously, but... They go with 100 because that's more balanced. But let's assume that it, there's no limit. Well, given the fact that the Pikmin are able to turn basically anything into themselves, that will become an issue. Because obviously exponential growth is a very bad thing, especially of an object like the Pikmin that is able to turn anything they kill, any foe, any object they can into themselves. And the reason I think this is because fruits and other things can't be turned into Pikmin. They don't do it because they're following your orders. They won't bring the fruit to their onion and turn it into more Pikmin, they're bringing it to you. Because that's what you're commanding them to do. But let's say they weren't under anybody's influence and were just like out on their on their own whim. There, there, 
they could ravage an ecosystem. It will start off small because, yeah, they need to grow, but the more animals, the more bugs, the more plant life they devour will become them and will thus add to the number of them. And nothing's safe from this. Because there's blue Pikmin that can go into the water, winged Pikmin that can go into the air and attack anything in the sky, and then the, and the, the various other types that have their own properties that allow them to get past other enemies' defenses. With how much enemies there are, if this enemy is able to, like, light itself ablaze or use electrical currents, well, there's Pikmin for that. Now, of course, this is, again, the, the, the thing that makes this a bit more balanced is that... Balanced. <laughs> the Pikmin aren't the most intelligent creatures on the planet. Time, time and time again, you always find them in a, in a, in a, in time of need. There's only, there are very few, and you help propagate their numbers. There's, there's, <laughs> there lies the issue. You are propagating the picking species, helping them. My screen's bugging out. This PC, this, 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 this what my screen is on is, is very old, so it's, it's like flickering. The LEDs are finally dying. Either way, the Pikmin species are one problematic species. But don't let that deter you, because obviously in, in Pikmin, nothing will go awry. It's a Nintendo game. <laughs> Alright, that's all I really have to say, because... Yeah, it's just... Think of nanobots. Think of fucking nanobots. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Peace.